In goal, the two keepers for Montville, Lauren Ross, and for St. Bernard's, who are in the, the beautiful red and gray, is Brianna Beverly. Uh, Montville will take the opening tip, and Velasquez will play it back into the midfield, and quickly it's going to be played back into the defensive end, and St. Bernard's going to put a little pressure on. Montville's going to try to work it through the midfield. And again, in a low-scoring uh, game, which we expect tonight, Casey, play the mistake is the, uh, is the term that we use in soccer from time to time. Velasquez plays it back. Now Montville will switch, go into the middle of the field with Beaupre. Beaupre tries to pass it over to Megs, but it is chipped away, and St. Bernard's will control coming out the other direction. St. Bernard's wants to get the ball into Alicia Crespo's feet. Her, she and Emily Smith, the dynamic duo. Delusia with a nice run for Montville, looking for a return pass. Delusia comes in. She's going to have a shot, uses the left foot, puts it in front, and a goal! Oh, are we waving it off? What are the oh, we got an offsides or we have a goal? The officials are saying it's a goal for Montville. An immediate Alexis Delucia put the ball right in front. Montville scores a quick one nothing lead with 39-14 in the game. Yeah, off the side of her foot, Delucia did not whiff that time, and she went cross post and got a friendly bounce off the post, and it's one nothing just like that. Nice job by the by the Indians right off the bat. We thought we might see only one goal in this whole game, and they came out on the attack. Yeah, St. Bernard's caught on their heels a little bit in that possession, Casey. Caught off guard, and it proved costly as Montville cashed in for one. St. Bernard's turns the ball over. Now Crespo is going to turn and rifle, and Montville will control. They'll play it again through the midfield. Beaupre ahead now. St. Bernard's chips, but a little break here, and Montville will play it through the defensive end and try to change fields. Going from right to left are the Indians. Beaupre plays a long ball down the sideline, and it's controlled by St. Bernard's. They pop it out of bounds. It'll be a Montville throw. Yeah, Montville's been working the left side or the near side of the field uh, early going in this game. That time he said, Casey, crossing fields a little bit, trying to get that defense from St. Bernard's on their heels a little bit. Got a whistle, and it'll be a Infraction against Montville, so St. Bernard's will have the kick, and they're going to try to push up. St. Bernard's needs to get the ball into the front court with, into the front field rather, up onto the forwards. Crespo and Smith, they need to do some work. Here's a long ball ahead, and it's controlled Montville off the foot. Now St. Bernard's puts a long ball ahead. Crespo's going to try to run for it, but a nice job getting back by Banta. She plays it back to Ross, and Ross sends the ball all the way towards midfield, where Londrigan Wins the battle for St. Bernard's. Mont Londrigan puts the ball ahead to Forrester. Forrester running down the right wing and knocked out of bounds nicely by Amanda Perkins and a throw in for St. Bernard's. He saw, he saw the big foot on Lauren Ross on, on the clear out. The junior kicked that ball 40 yards in the air to clear for the Indians. Nice steal by Delusia on the other end, but she knocks it out of bounds and it'll be a St. Bernard's throw. Throw in from the Saints will come from Bergeron. A steal by Montville, going the other way through the midfield are the Indians, that's Beaupre. She loses the ball on the other hand. Ball up ahead, Crespo has a chance, but Banta plays it nicely back and Ross clears for Montville. And again, you see the trust for the Montville defenders in their senior goalkeeper, play the ball back to her, let her clear it out. She can kick the ball 40 yards in the air. Delucia with the ball in the midfield, looks to switch fields, plays it back. Now Montville with the ball in the midfield with Beaupre. Beaupre was going to play it back through the defense, and they're going to try to switch fields again, but Crespo comes and interrupts the pass, and the ball now being battled back and forth. Montville controls middle of the field, Velasquez. Velasquez puts it forward, and Crespo steps in, and Londrigan clears. Yeah, good touch that time by Velasquez. She just couldn't connect uh, with one of her front court players. Long ball put up for Delucia. Delucia on the left wing, one-on-one. -on -one. Delucia takes with the right foot, puts it in the middle. Velasquez wanted it. Instead, a left-footed shot by Beaupre is corralled by Beverly, the keeper of the Saints. And St. Bernard's will reset. Keeper punts high. Punt comes down and bounces just shy of midfield where Crespo's battling for it. She loses it out, and Delucia has the ball, and Crespo... Steps in, knocks it off, and it'll re remain Montville ball. Yeah, Delucia very active over there for the Montville Indians, getting some good touches and putting the pressure on uh, St. Bernard's uh, in the uh, in the front field. She is uh, she was All Conference Lacrosse as a freshman. Yeah, and uh, qualified in three sports in indoor track. So she's a she's a tremendous athlete here. Montville has a number of very very good 
athletes, young, good athletes. One of those, the aforementioned uh, Lauren Velasquez. Velasquez, the leading scorer here for Montville. And Velasquez uh, is uh, a junior as well. So Montville's bringing stuff back even after the six seniors. Yeah, they're bringing their goalie back, that's for sure. Lauren Ross, only a junior. The yeah, younger Beau Prey. There's more sisters coming up. So the sister story of Montville is going to have some legs to it, I think. That's going to be going on for a while. Uh, early going in this game, Casey, certainly Montville is dictating the pace and the tempo. Uh, and St. Bernard's has yet to mount a serious offensive attack. They keep trying to put the long ball. There's another long ball, but Ross is there with really no... No pressure. They want to use Crespo, but so far they have not been able to. Here's a nice pass out of the backfield. Delucia wants to run. She beats her defender down the line, keeps it on her foot, cuts. Going to put the ball into the middle. She does to Velasquez, but a nice job by Londrigan stepping up. And then Crespo touches it out of bounds, and Montville will have the throw. A good touch and pass that time by Delucia. Like you said, just uh, off the foot. Nice chip that time from Beaupre, but Londrigan... Taking, clearly taking a little more of a leadership role back there. Londrigan's been anchoring the defense, and on the other side, Banta will play it back to Ross. Ross has to use her feet as Banta played it back, and St. Bernard's tries to switch it out of the midfield. Ball loose, nice job that time by the Saints. Forrester steals it, plays it back into the midfield to Hannaford, and Hannaford loses it out of bounds, and Montville will have a throw on the far sideline. 1-0, 34 minutes remaining here in the first half. Montville on top at home on senior night over the visiting St. Bernard Saints. An early Indian goal. <laughs> Played up now, Montville, St. Bernard's rather, plays it up from the midfield. Crespo makes a run, but it's cleared out nicely by Banta. She puts it in the midfield looking for Beaupre, but Beaupre decides to play it back to the midfield and to her sister. So that was one Beaupre to the other Beaupre and back to Ross, and Montville will restart from the back. Yeah, Montville likes to facilitate their offense up the middle with number two, Madison Beaupre. They like to get her some touches. She seems to make things happen up there, Casey. Kind of like the point guard a little bit on a soccer field. That's a good analogy, Sports Doctor. Now here's a run on the far sideline. Ball put up in front. Londrigan clears for St. Bernard's, but Montville's still battling for the ball. Keep a nice job. That's Maddie Beaupre down there, not allowing uh, Londrigan to clear. And it goes off of Beaupre, and it will be a it will be a Saints will go a Montville throw. Uh, hustle play that time by Maddie Beaupre, outworking the Saints down on the far side. Montville throw from the far side into the middle it goes, chipped back on the far sideline. Montville controls now switches fields to Beaupre. Beaupre steps in, puts a shot onto goal, and a nice job by Londrigan to clear for the Saints with a little bit of help. And Montville has the ball loose now with Delucia. And she's going to play it back wisely into the backs. And Montville will switch fields. Nice ball movement. But a loose ball in the middle of the field will be stolen by Lindsey Clement of St. Bernard's. And instead the ball is put right back in by Montville. And Beverly will let it roll. And St. Bernard's will try to clear. And it will have an opportunity at a throw. Yeah, a lot of pressure here by Montville early in this ball game. And for, you know, eight minutes in. And St. Bernard's has been on their heels a little bit defensively. Very, very aggressive style of play so far for the Indians. There will be a goal kick. Londrigan will take the goal kick from her left side. Huge foot by Londrigan. Sends it 45 yards in the air. And a nice job by St. Bernard's to control this ball. But it's tapped out of bounds by Bergeron. And Delucia will have the throw for Montville. Delucia puts it in the middle of the field to Beaupre. Beaupre loses it. Now gets it back. Beaupre playing a little two-man game with her sister. Beaupre to Beaupre. And St. Bernard's trying to clear. Then they finally, Crespo taps it down the sideline. And a nice job by Hungerford. But it's back into Hannaford, rather. And St. Bernard's will have a run. Looking long are the Saints. Crespo. Nice job getting back by Montville. Very, very fast getting back on defense. And Montville throws, puts it back in. Beaupre. And a nice job by Crespo. Crespo starting to get a little more active there on the on the wing for the Saints. Yeah, the, the, the four or five times that St. Bernard's has had a run, Montville's done a great job retreating back with their defense and uh, keeping their goalie, Lauren Ross, protected. A little unforced error that time by the Indians, and Clement will throw, and we're going to have a sub into the ball game for the Saints. Uh, Carolyn uh, Codner will come out of the game for St. Bernard's and into the ball game for the Saints. We will check that. 
But Montville with a little run here. Delusha down the left sideline. She's got a little bit of space. Delusha takes the right foot, plays it back into the middle. Beaupre. Beaupre with a little chip ball loose, and St. Bernard's just wants to clear, but they can't. Onto the foot of Beaupre. Long shot up and just over the top of the goal. Kara Beaupre let it fly from 20. All right, that was a direct kick that time by Kara Beaupre. Like I said, she loaded up and let it rip and just went over the top of the crossbar. Another good scoring opportunity, though, for Montville earlier in this game. Goal kick for the Saints. A lot of pressure so far. 30 minutes left in the first half. Londrigan with a long kick. Comes down at midfield. And St. Bernard's controls. Now there's a through ball. Crespo is going to try to run on it, but Banta is back, and Banta will wisely and calmly play it back to her keeper, Ross. And the Saints will operate out of the backside. Very confident Jenna Banta back there anchoring this Indian defense. Well, a lot of communication between the defenders and the goalkeeper. And, you know, again, that's one of the things that's made them very strong. Nine shutouts on the year so far for Lauren Ross. Nine shutouts. That's a lot of shutouts. Other side, Hannaford for the Saints, works it down the sideline, but it's tapped away by Olivia Meehan, and down on the side there, out of bounds, it'll be Indians ball. Yeah, and early in this game too, Casey, Montville winning most of the 50-50 balls. Yeah, they are. They have gotten to the ball a little bit faster and winning a little more aggressive. Meehan that time gets it. Now the throw comes into Maddie Beaupre, right at the 30-yard line. Beaupre going to play a little two-man game with her uh, teammate. And St. Bernard's intercepts and just knocks it out of bounds, so it'll remain Montville ball. Montville so far with the only two real shots on goal, one in and one over the crossbar. St. Bernard's really has not had a shot yet. Here's a ball in the middle, loose, tap. Here's an opportunity, left foot, and a nice job by Londrigan to clear with an opportunity that time from Emily Meggs, but she couldn't get the shot off as Londrigan stepped in front. And Delusha will have a throw in on the side for Amanda. Yeah, a good run and a good push that time by Kara Beaupre. She tried to sneak one past the goalie, and she just got, like I said, just couldn't get it off. Here's an opportunity in the middle, a shot for Velasquez. It's blocked. Another opportunity for Beaupre, and a nice job on a clear by Lindsay Clement. A little skill work that time. She faked a kick and instead tapped it to herself and cleared it. But Montville right on the attack again. We're going to get a throw in from Amanda Perkins. Perkins puts it up for Megs. Now Delusha. Perkins again. Now Beaupre steps in. Megs in the middle. St. Bernard's intercepts, and they're going to try to clear. Montville, though, keeping the pressure on. Montville has all 10 of its players inside, and then quickly, as soon as there was a threat, Amanda Perkins just turned and played it, played it 50 yards back to Ross, and Montville will play it out of their own end. Yeah, it's like the Indians almost hit the reset button on that play. They didn't like what we see. Play it back to the goalie. Let's set things up a little bit, and uh, it seemed to work because the Montville now in control. A lot of trust in their goalkeeper. Absolutely. Good, good decisions from the backside, from the defenders of Montville, as well as the keeper. Other side, St. Bernard's tries to play it to Londrigan. She chips, puts it back in the midfield, but it's qu put quickly back onto the foot of Velasquez, and St. Bernard's rushes to clear and gets it onto the foot of Crespo. Crespo trying to help out now from her forward position, and... Working is Crespo, but Montville still keeps it in their own end. Yeah, the aggressiveness by Montville to keep the ball on their own end of the field is making things very hard for the Saints to actually get something going and mount any kind of offensive attack casing the first 15 minutes of this game. Throw in, and Montville still controls. The Indians have put tons of pressure. Now here's a ball into the middle of the field. Delusha runs on, puts a head on it, but nicely done. Londrigan clears. For the Saints, Delusha had was sniffing an opportunity, but Londrigan clear. Yeah, head-to-head -head clear that time by the uh, by the Saints. Montville controls, puts it back in the middle to Beaupre, and St. Bernard's tries to get it, some offense going, but the, the line, the back line of Montville has not allowed the ball to even get cleared past midfield. St. Bernard's is struggling. He said all ten of their players on the other side of the 50-yard line. St. Bernard's gets the ball. The, finally, though, Montville just hasn't really allowed them to get past their own 20. It's been really all Montville, uh, all of the pressure here from the Indians. Yeah, St. Bernard's looking to do something to jumpstart their offense and, you know, play a mistake, play a, a you know, a, a bad touch or a bad pass and, you know, just to mount some sort of attack on goalkeeper Lauren Ross. But, you know, Montville's done a great job as far as, you know, defending the goal and keeping the ball in their own zone. Now Delusha controls for Montville, plays it back 
to her defender. Goes on an overlapping run. There's the speed of Delusia, but a nice job stepping up Bergeron for St. Bernard's, and she puts it out into the midfield. But again, Montville steps up, and outside it goes to Beaupre. Beaupre down the left wing, puts a high arcing ball into the middle of the field. A clear, ball's loose, Meg's in front, and a beautiful save. Beaupre with another opportunity, but Beverly stones her. Nice job that time by Beverly from her goalkeeper position. Went down and got that one. That was the third shot of the game from Montville, Casey. That one was point blank. Great job by the goalkeeper. Cara Beaupre, who had the first goal of the game off the assist from Delucia, sensed another one. So did Megs, but a beautiful job by Beverly that time, keeping good position, and she stoned her. But Montville really just pressuring. There's been no real opportunities for St. Bernard's. Now in the middle of the field, Velasquez. Puts it in front, a little kick, high shot right over the top of everybody, Mian. Uh, hit the crossbar that time, it hit the football crossbar. Yeah, over the soccer goal and into yeah. the football. He hit the post. The post was hit. Yep, wrong post though for uh, Montville now. So we're gonna have a goal kick. Londrigan will take it from the left side. And a big spinning kick right in the middle, but nice job by Megs for Montville to get her body on it. And it's controlled by the Indians. A rush by the Indians from Stronick. And out of bounds, and it'll be St. Bernard's ball. You know, you're, you're actually, St. Bernard's is lucky. You'd be only be down one nothing in this game. There's been a lot of pressure put on them and a lot of heat put in, in their goalie in front of the zone. It has been all Montville. I mean, there has been, really, there has not been any, right. even a sniff of an opportunity for St. Bernard. They haven't had a, a, an offensive player with the ball on their side of the field. On the other side, Montville, multiple chances. And St. Bernard's is going to have to figure something out here uh, if they're going to try to get more offense. There's a nice ball, but mop up a mistake by the Montville defender by Furman. That might be what St. Bernard's needs is to capitalize. Now here, Crespo with a steal for St. Bernard's, but stoned by Banta. Up in front, in the middle, it goes battled by Megs. Megs puts it to Beaupre, and Beaupre plays it back to her defense. The ball is loose in the middle. Velasquez has it. She's going on a run now. She has Delucia to her left, switches fields with her right, pushes it out onto the outside. Nice little run and a shot and a save by Beverly. Nice job by Beverly staying home on the outside shot from Meehan. Brianna Beverly Casey is senior goalkeeper, making plays back there, and she's had to corral a couple of them in the last two minutes. Yeah, that time Velasquez had Delucia to her left and Meehan to her right. And she did a nice thing, she switched fields to go to the other side to Meehan. Meehan got off a nice shot and Be Beverly just was in good position. That's a, a good opportunity though for Montville. Uh, they've had the majority of them thus far. Montville plays it back now through the midfield. St. Bernard's bounces it back into the Montville side, but Montville controls and Furman plays it back to Ross and Ross will settle from the keeper position and Montville will start again. Middle of the field, very hard for St. Bernard's to crack as far as that defense goes for Montville. I look for them maybe to swing the ball, reverse the ball and try and get up one of the sides. Here's Velasquez with a run. She's got Delucia to her left, down the corner. Delucia, left foot, turns, settles, makes a little move, goes in front, puts a beautiful pass in the middle, but St. Bernard's gets a body on it and it clears. Another nice run from the Indians. Here's a steal from Perkins. Montville with Perkins. Perkins puts it in the corner for Meehan, but that ball is going to be a little too long and out of bounds, and it will be a, a goal kick for St. Bernard's. 22 minutes remaining here in the first half. 1-0 Montville on a very quick goal from Cara Beaupre off of the assist from Alexis DeLucia only seconds into the game, and we have had a lot of opportunities for Montville subsequently, but no other goals. Yeah, four or five other legit scoring opportunities for the Indians. St. Bernard's finally... Angela Abraham settles and puts the ball up, but they cannot crack this midfield. The Montville Indian pressure has been unbelievable. It's like hockey. Yeah. You can't get out of your zone. I mean, just constant cycling after cycling of opportunities in the offensive end for Montville. Well, I mean, they're certainly dictating the pace and, and the play of the game. They don't want St. Bernard's to get life offensively at all. Ball's loose in front. Delucia looking to get one off, but St. Bernard's does a nice job. She shielded. Bergeron did a great job that time, and up ahead, it goes out of bounds and it will be Montville ball. Uh, nice job that time by the Saints. New into the ball game for St. Bernard's. Actually though, that was Bergeron uh, who shielded Delucia. And now Montville will play out of its backfield again, Banta. Right, not afraid to reset Casey. If they don't like what they see, they're not gonna force anything. They'll play the ball back to their defense, play the ball back to their keeper and reset, and here's what you got. 
You got Mian. Mian puts a ball in the middle looking for Megs. Cleared Londrigan nicely. Now that ball is out heading towards the sideline. And it will go out of bounds before Angela Abraham can get to it. And Alicia Crespo is the other person running for the ball. Neither of them can get to it in time. Montville will have the throw. I like the patience by the Indians. I like the way they reset the ball like that and they reset their, you know, their, their run. In front, ball in the middle. Loose, Megs puts it out to DeLucia. DeLucia trying to keep it. She sprints, keeps the ball in play on her right foot. She's in the corner, plays it back to a midfielder, Beaupre. And a nice job stepping in by the Saints, but they can't clear. Beaupre keeps it in. DeLucia plays it off of a Saint. Ball's rolling. Montville puts it back in the middle. And Meehan will control at the 20. She plays it back to her defender, and they'll reset again. Middle of the field, it goes to Perkins. Touched into the middle, looking for Velasquez. Shot and a beautiful job defensively by Paradise of the Saints. And it goes all the way out of bounds at the 45. But again, more opportunities for the Indians. Yeah, and again, the mistakes and the mistouches by St. Bernard's. And, you know, Montville capitalized on all of them. All the 50-50 balls right now going to the side of the Indians. St. Bernard's looking to tap. And out of bounds it will go. And it will be a Montville throw. I mean, St. Bernard's really has not had an offensive player touch the ball within 40 yards of Lauren Ross. If we had a time of possession clock in soccer right here, Montville in the first 20 minutes of the game would be probably 17-3 to three as far as time of possession goes. Yeah, that's accurate. And here we're going to get a penalty, a whistle for a foul against St. Bernard. So Montville will have an indirect kick from the about the 30-yard line. Uh, that back line from Montville is playing a heck of a game as far as not letting St. Bernard's get anything going offensively. High ball towards Beverly. She corrals it. Banged in by Amanda Perkins, and Beverly controls. Yeah, that back line of that middle of the middle field uh, of Perkins and Banta, the two defensive backs, have been just lights out. And the midfield of Montville has been unbelievable. Uh, Beaupre, Megs, Beaupre, and Mian, and Delucia. The five midfielders have been just fantastic. Now here's a through run. ball. First opportunity. Crespo puts it on a run, but Ross is there, and again, no real threat as Banta was running step for step with Crespo. Yeah, Ross can come out of that goalie position and make a play, and she's, you know, obviously communicating with her defenders. They work very well together as a unit back there. Uh, nice move down the side that time by Banta. She puts it into the midfield, and it's off the hand hand ball. of an inadvertent... Hand touched the ball. No, inadvertent it's handball that time, but a handball nonetheless... Is that a penalty shot? If it was in the offensive box. Yeah. Okay. But it wasn't, so... So, no, it's not... <laughs> Inadvertent handball. Yes. I'm gonna get a uh, gonna get a penalty corner. Oh, wrong wrong sport. <laughs> That's the ninth sport. This is the tenth. <laughs> ball controlled by Montville. Nice little chip in the middle by Beaupre. Now ahead it goes on a run. Velasquez. She's got Delucia running up the sideline. She switches fields instead. Goes on the other side to Beaupre. In the middle, Velasquez makes a move with her right foot. Tries to get a shot off. Londrigan cuts in front of her. And Velasquez will lose the ball out of bounds. Well, that was all Velasquez that time. She hustled the entire length of the field for that ball and that play. And you're going to see a corner kick come up here for Montville. Danger zone time for the Saints. All right, from the corner. They're going to play it back into a rushing Perkins. Montville tries to put it in to the middle, but no can do. Nice job that time as Morallo put it in front. And it's going to go out of bounds. St. Bernard's will have a goal kick. You know, Perkins is looking to load up on that one, too. She just couldn't quite get her leg in gear. And a nice job that time by the Saints and Brianna Beverly defending. Beverly knows her way around there back by the, uh, by the crease area. She's done a nice job. She's been on the back end of that post, and she's caught some balls, and she's had a lot of pressure on here in the first 25 minutes of this game. Yeah, Jillian Morallo, the old freshman, uh, did a nice job putting on a run from the backfield. Uh, but St. Bernard's was able to clear. Now Crespo tries to put it up ahead of herself. but All by herself. She's got no help up there, Casey. Yeah, but very calmly, Ross comes out and puts it ahead to Furman. Furman from her defense taps to DeLucia. DeLucia, nice job stepping in by Clement. She steals the ball and off her legs, and it will be a St. Bernard throw. Forrester will throw in for St. Bernard's. She's looking for... Smith and goes towards Crespo instead. It's chipped out 
Delucia with a nice job heads it out of bounds, but it'll stay. Mo it'll stay St. Bernard uh, bas uh, basketball. St. Bernard ball. <laughs> it's uh, all right. That's the eleventh sport. Uh, ball loose. Montville controls. Nice steal from St. Bernard's. Ball goes into the middle. Finally, St. Bernard's with an opportunity. Paradise puts one wide left of the football goal, and it'll be a goal kick from up. Finally saw some good touches over there to Sarah Forrester for St. Bernard's and, you know, from Paradise with the left-footed shot. And that's they need more of that. They need more opportunities inside, I'll use a football reference, inside their own 30-yard line, or inside the Montville's 30-yard line, to put some pressure on Lauren Ross. Ross with the goal kick, bounces at the 40. Velasquez tries to head out to her, her outside midfielder, but it's controlled instead. And the probably the most uh, famous man in all of southeastern Connecticut right now, Gordon Vidal, in the in the booth. If you if you don't know Gordon Vidal, it means you've been under a rock <laughs> in, New <Lo> <laughs> in, in New London politics over the last uh, last few months. Uh, I've Go seen him on my day job a time or two as well. So I've seen Gordon play soccer. And uh, let me just say that he's found his home as a political analyst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's, one of the, he's the class act, is he not? <laughs> Montville still in control. one nothing lead. 14-25 remaining. Does the humor ever stop? No. <laughs> it just keeps coming. Here we go. Now, there is a freshman on the St. Bernard's soccer team by the name of <laughs> Sophia Vidal. I'm going to make a wild guess. <laughs> say the some sort of relation to Gordon Vidal. Yeah, say yeah. the Vidal family is alive and well. Popping in the box and saying hello. You gotta get a you gotta get a halftime guest. Yeah, maybe we will get Gordon up here. Maybe you can run down there and grab. Do that. I'll put Peter Wappy on at halftime. The ball is out of bounds, and, and Montville will have a throw in. We're 13 minutes and 50 seconds remaining here in the first half. Montville on top. An early Cara Beaupre goal off the assist from Alexis Delucia, and, and we have had no scoring since, but it's been entirely Montville as far as the opportunities. It has been all Indians. Ball rolling through the middle. Nice job. Clement steps up, but she loses the ball, and St. Bernard's will be content switching fields. Yeah, and St. Bernard's doing a nice job holding things together, even though they're backs up against the wall here for the first 27 minutes of the game. There's, you know, they're still playing a very tight game, and again, there's a bit of a rush there by the Saints, but... You know, Lauren Ross comes out and does her thing like she's been doing all game long. Yeah, Emily Smith did a great job putting that ball out there for Sarah Forrester, but just a little too far. Forrester couldn't make the run. Now Meggs to Beaupre in the middle of the field for Montville. Meggs gets it back. Big big midfielder for St. Bernard's. And now Velasquez fights through. Velasquez tries to go to the middle of the field, loses the ball. Good job by the Saints. Stronick battles for it on the other end, but Delucia and... Velasquez tips it out of bounds, so St. Bernard's will have the throw in. Down the right sideline, St. Bernard's with the throw. Delucia heads the ball for Montville. Ball loose. Smith for St. Bernard's loses it. Montville will play it ahead. A little chip off the head, a little flick by Velasquez. Now she's making a run. Down the left sideline, Velasquez with the left foot. Tries to look for a shot, can't do it, and loses it out of bounds. It will be a goal kick a for the Saints. A little stop and go for Velasquez going down the line, Casey. Nice footwork, nice touch, nice dribbling. Shepherded off very nicely by the Saints defender as well. Londrigan will take the goal kick for St. Bernard's. That ball will come down onto the foot of Smith for St. Bernard's, which is a nice play by the Saints. They go three deep, little touch. Here's our first opportunity, a little through ball, but Ross very confidently runs up and beats Brook Paradise to the ball and sends it deep into the St. Bernard zone. And again, the St. Bernard's attack is, is more of a push. It's not an attack. It's it's, it's a one-person breakout. Um, there's never more than three or four people up there playing offense for the Saints. Um, when there's a ball that goes into the front of the field, Casey, they need more, uh, more offensive players up there. Well, one of the reasons that St. Bernard's is taking this approach is that Montville is putting all ten of its players, and here comes a through ball. That's going to be Ross's to corral for the Indians. Montville's putting, because they have so much pressure on the offensive side, they've got all ten players on one half of the field. St. Bernard's is trying to catch them moving forward, beat them in the other direction with one of their speed players. The problem with that is that the midfield of Montville has so controlled the game and the backs of Montville, Perkins and Banta, very calmly just turning it around and knocking it back to Ross. Yeah, and a goalkeeper has no problem coming 10, 15, 20 yards out to make a play as well. Throw in for the Saints. Hannaford looking to try to push. 
Montville steps up from the midfield and ball now high into the air, comes down onto the foot of Kara Beaupre. Beaupre looking for Delucia. Delucia touches, but loses it, and St. Bernard's will reset. Now here's a steal from Beaupre. Tries to find Velasquez, but Beverly comes up and makes the save for the Saints, and the Saints will break out. Yeah, Beaupre won that 50-50 ball, tried to push through, and could not control it, but, you know, Brianna Beverly, to her credit, you know, saw it, stepped up, took away the angle, and took away the ball as well. She's played well in goal. She's, yeah. she's played well. She's been under fire for most of this first half. She's played very well. Here's Moffa with a run. Meehan centers the ball in the middle looking for Velasquez, but a nice job by the Saints to clear. But there's Montville's midfield stepping up again. Smith for the Saints. Paradise looking for something, but nothing there. And instead, Montville puts it back into the middle, and the Saints just looking to clear. Great job that time by Montville's you know, midfielders, keeping that ball in the Saints' end, keeping the pressure on. Relentless. Pressure here again from Montville. Into the middle, looking for Velasquez. Velasquez and Londrigan comes up, knocks it out, and now Montville will turn and play it all the way back to Ross. Ross comes all the way up to the 25-yard line and sends it onto the other side to Furman. Furman looks to send Vel uh, Delucia down the sideline, but overplays, and Beaupre puts it right back in for Montville. Delucia has it at midfield, plays it back to Furman. Now Furman wants to go to the middle of the field, and St. Bernard's does a nice job. And now out of bounds, it'll be Saints throw. Good touch that time, though, from Furman from the back line. She fires it right back into the action, right back in the middle, keeping the pressure on the Saints. Delucia steals the throw and knocks it out of bounds. It'll be another throw for St. Bernard. They know where Delucia is at all times in the field. I'm talking about the Montville Indians. You know, Furman and she, you know, some of the facilitators in the middle of the field, they, they like Delucia down that left side. Yeah, she's a, she's a skilled player. She can go get it. Beaupre in the middle of the field for Montville. Switches fields, puts it on Megs. Megs now tries to go back to Beaupre. And Maddie Beaupre turns. She looks for Meehan down the right sideline. Meehan in a sprint. Down the right sideline with the St. Bernard's defender in the corner. Meehan. Great hustle make, play down there from Meehan. Nice move. She's going to play it all the way back. Ball put high up in in front. Velasquez and a save by Beverly. Velasquez can't believe it. Her hands are on her head. And she, how did I miss that? Brianna Beverly has been asked to do an awful lot here in the first half for the Saints. And that time she was up for the charge of the Indians. Jessica Stronick put a beautiful ball right onto the foot of Lauren Velasquez, and she made the little touch, but somehow Beverly got her hands on it. What a great opportunity and a beautiful save by the goalie of St. Bernard's. Still 1-0, under eight minutes remaining here in the first half. Seventh legitimate scoring opportunity and almost point-blank shot for the Indians in the first half. It's surprisingly, they're only up 1-0. Throw in for Montville. Beaupre tries to put it down the sideline. Now it's back into the middle, and Montville will switch fields. Run in the middle of the field. Nice job by the Saints, cleared by Hannaford. And they still try to get it out of the midfield. The Saints can't. Back to Hannaford again. Montville intercepts. Ball loose. Put up in front. And Bergeron for the Saints will try to clear, but it's stolen from Velasquez. Velasquez taps to Delucia. Delucia, oh, one timer goes flying right. And a 50 50 ball is that time won by Montville. Kept that offensive possession alive. They're out hustling the Saints right now. Delucia down in the corner, she is a she is a handful for the Indians. Yeah, she's uh she's playing very, very patiently. She's very smart there. I love what Velasquez and Beaupre and Delucia, I love and, and me and they're very, very comfortable. They're very patient. They, they're not afraid to go backwards in soccer. Sometimes backwards is better than forwards. And they know where they're gonna be on the field at all times. The passing is precise, you know, they trust each other, they work together as a unit. And, and again, I keep saying they're only up one nothing, but it's surprising. But you know what, Brianna um, Beverly's played a heck of a ball game, and that's what you got to count on if you're if you're St. Bernard's right now. Is despite uh, how much St. Bernard, you know, how much they've been dominated time of possession, if you will, it is only one nothing. Cleared out by Vidal and uh, by St. Bernard's also by Bergeron, just getting a foot on it. You know, with six minutes left to go here in the first half, Casey, you would think that you know St. Bernard's would be happily to go into the locker room down one nothing. Yeah, one nothing would be would be just fine for them right now. Montville with the kick, 
It's going to be taken at the 35-yard line by Amanda Perkins. Perkins with the right foot. Hard low liner. Ball chipped. And it's going to roll out of bounds where it will be a goal kick for St. Bernard. It's 5.35 remaining here in the half. Beautiful night for high school sports. Beautiful. I mean, what a facility here at Montville High School, too. It's got to be the nicest press box. Uh, One I, of the nicest press boxes. We don't have around. 40 people with us like we did on Friday night in Killingly. <laughs> that was tight. We were wedged into a phone booth yeah, on Friday night. Yeah, Phil Arby took good care of us. Clark Kent's got to come out of something, so I mean, might as well be a phone booth. Long throw. Smith, now Kinones for St. Bernard's. Ball gets put back in by the Montville midfielders. And Velasquez, nice job. She just beat Hannaford to the ball. And Montville, but inadvertently, went off of her uh, hand. So it's going to be St. Bernard's control. <laughs> Under five minutes remaining here. one nothing Montville. Montville will have a kick from the 45-yard line of St. Bernard's. St. Bernard's will have the kick from their own 45. Londrigan, low liner, up ahead looking for Crespo. Tipped by a Montville defender and rolling, and it will go out of bounds in a goal kick for Montville. So nice job, Londrigan put a low line drive. Uh, looks like that ball is going to yeah, stay. It's off of off. Montville, so St. Bernard is going to retain. Yeah, it's going to be a corner kick yeah, I for thought the was, Saints. I thought it was off the foot of Canonis, but instead oh. it was off of a Montville defender. So Real live scoring opportunity here yeah. for the uh, Saints. Yeah, Caroline Codner is going to take this corner kick, and this is the best opportunity St. Bernard has had thus far. High, and there's a tip. Ball loose in front. Anybody's ball. Someone needs to clear, and a great job clearing by Megan Daly of Montville. She just got her foot on it and banged it out. And now Montville clears the zone. Opportunity in front as Ross put the ball up into the air. The goalie tipped it. And it, when the ball's in the, on the ground like that, it's whoever can get a foot on it. There's entire drills that you run in soccer, which is just that. Loose ball and everyone's legs are just going. Free-for-all. It it's it, a free-for-all. Get your leg on the yeah. ball and get it out of the zone. Skill at that point takes a seat to toughness. <laughs> it's whoever's tougher. And in that case, Montville did a great job clearing. Now, but St. Bernard's is mounting a little more pressure in the midfield than they have so far. Uh, again, you know, you, you're only down one nothing, and off that corner kick, they had a legitimate scoring opportunity. That's, you know, you're going to create, you know, a scoring opportunity for yourself. Brianna Beverly has kept them in this game. Now Velasquez to Delucia. Delucia to the middle of the field, makes a move. Delucia, left foot, takes a shot, wide left. Alexis Delucia with a scoring opportunity for the Indians. Oh, the good touch, the crossover dribble, the left foot, let it fly. Boy, oh boy, she's a good ball player. Only a sophomore, a lot of bright things ahead for this young Montville soccer team. They have a number of young, talented players, and Delucia will certainly be one of the names that you hear for years to come here in Montville. I think she's got an opportunity to... Uh, to make quite an impact, three-sport athlete for the Indians. A bit of a different angle, too, coming through with their left foot kicking. Could confuse the goalie a little bit. That's when the summer comes into play. That's those summertime when, when no one else is working. You're out in the yard working on your off foot, working on that play right there. That's how you decide who wants to really be a player and who wants to go to the beach. And, uh, you know, the, the good players take the time, and they work on that stuff. And uh, no doubt she was working this summer on that. And that's the great thing we see. The... You know, football players in August, they're in the weight room. It's 100 sure, degrees yeah. outside. They're in the weight room. Well, soccer players are waking up in the morning and doing drills, working on the off foot. Uh, the Mikey Bassettos of the world are working on their left hand. Yeah. Um, here's a through ball for St. Bernard's opportunity, but Ross comes up for I'm, I'm the one that's at the, the beach. I'm the one that's at the beach. Yes, you are the one at the beach, but that's, you know, that's important too because there's got to be something for people to look at. <laughs> I meant that as a compliment. No, you're too kind. Thank you. Thank I've, you. Seen, you on the, I've seen you on the bike. Sure. Montville will control at midfield. Throw in by the Indians. Megan Daly. She plays it up looking for Velasquez, but it's tipped by the Saints. Bergeron into the midfield, but kept in by the Indians by Perkins. And now St. Bernard's will have a ball. Here's a ball down the sideline. Crespo running with Banta, but Banta does a great job putting it to the outside. Now the Saints, Abraham in front and cleared by Banta up ahead to Beaupre in the midfield. Lots of room for Beaupre. She gives it to Velasquez. One on four. There's Velasquez looking for Delucia. Good God, what a move there. Just waiting for her players, waiting for her teammates. Calm, under control. Now the Indians oh. are running attack. There's Meehan. Meehan making a run. Puts it in the middle. 
Oh, and a nice job. There was going to be a, gonna be a shot on goal that time by Morallo, but St. Bernard stepped in and tapped it away. Good run and a good push off the patience of Vasquez that time, though. I mean, very smart player. Tipped out by Clement, and it'll be under a minute remaining here. 35 seconds in the first half. Both teams trying to get one last opportunity. Montville, Beaupre loses the ball out of bounds. It will go off the Saints. Olivia Massad, and Montville will have one last run. Yeah, Peter Wappy's my halftime guest. Try and get him in here. I'm talking about game day a little bit. Yeah, if he wants to be on, then have, yeah. have at it. Works for me. Throw in for the Indians. Put in front and tapped out of bounds, and we'll have a goal kick with four, three, two, and one, and that'll take us to halftime. That is Sienna Ciappone and her mom, Melissa, down watching the competition. Sienna, a star player at Waterford High School and master of the flip throw. And if you've never seen the flip throw, she does a full somersault. Uh, handstand, JR handstand here? that's JR's daughter. Is JR here? Uh, I don't know. I'm talking about oh, his daughter. Right, who cares? JR's right. a retired athlete. I'm talking about his daughter who All does right. one of the most amazing things you can see on a soccer field. The flip throw where she does a full handspring and throws the ball 40 yards in the air. Montville in control here. one nothing Indians as we start the second half. The Indians now going left to right. They'll control the ball in the midfield with Beaupre. Beaupre, Meehan, right foot, puts it in front. Ball loose. Oh, an opportunity for the Indians goes awry, and the Saints clear. Yeah, right back at it. The uh, the Indians on the attack here to open up the second half. Casey, they have put most of the pressure on the Saints. St. Saint Bernard's clear is out. So now, right in front of us, we have got Stronick and Beaupre and Meehan. So we're going to see a different uh, group on now that they've switched fields. That was the group on the far side of the field previously and most of the offense had gone through the other side so we'll see this side they're working this side of the field right now and St. Bernard is still trying to clear and Crespo can't beat her person in front of her and finally a ball put through by the Saints and Ross will come up and drill with her right foot puts it right onto Megs and now Montville looking to go back on the attack Beaupre wants to go across the field to Delucia but intercepted by the Saints and Battling for the ball. Sarah Forrester battling with Emily Meggs. Meggs about twice her size, but Forrester, she wins the battle. Yeah. Forrester won that battle. Good point, yeah. Hustle play that time by Forrester. St. Bernard's will have a direct kick coming from the 45-yard the line. Londrigan will step up. Saints looking to have a player run through. Here's Londrigan. Puts the ball in a nice step up by Stronick that time for Montville. St. Bernard's, however off the loose ball and Stronick puts it onto the foot of Velasquez. Velasquez gives it out to Stronick. Stronick now down the right side with a touch. May person beat. Wants to send a shot in wide right. Good opportunity by Jessica Stronick but the ball goes wide right and an opportunity for Montville. I learned in the, during the break that up in New Hampshire we've got uh, Katie Banta, sister of Jenna Banta listening from New Hampshire and she wants us to turn up the volume. She says she's Got to let, she's straining to hear the, 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 the Indians score their goal. So she's rooting for a little oh. Indian action here in the second half. Turn up the volume a little bit. How about if the Saints score a goal? Would your call be in the Saints are marching in? Well, not I would now. Oh, now, okay. now, you've, now you've blown, <laughs> now you've, now you've blown it. <laughs> Ball on the Indians and St. Bernard's looking to clear, but kept in by Beaupre. Sent across the field to Megs. Megs switches fields. Nice job on a step in by Smith. And St. Bernard's will steal and try to make a run, but Delucia keeps it in for, for Montville, not letting St. Bernard's clear. Yeah, Meg's a bit of a field general out there for the Indians. Casey controls a lot of the action, dictates the tempo and pace and direction of the offensive set. And Furman puts it down the left sideline for Delucia, but out of bounds, and St. Bernard's will have a throw. Again, the pressure here, Montville has all their players all inside the 50-yard line. There's nobody back but the goalkeeper for the Indians. And pressure from Delucia forces a St. Bernard's error, and Montville will have a throw. A selling out style on the offensive end by the Indians. Throw goes into the middle to Beaupre. Beaupre with a flick to Velasquez. Velasquez plays it back to Cara Beaupre. Cara Beaupre stutters, has it at the 20, wants to shoot, instead puts it out wide to Stronick. Stronick with one defender to beat, instead chips inside to Meehan. Meehan with the right foot, ball in the middle, shot wide, and a beautiful save by Beverly. 
Oh, Cara Beaupre put a ball on the far post, and Brianna Beverly went down to the ground for the St. Bernard save. Yeah, far post that time for the senior goalie, Brianna Beverly. About a half dozen saves like that where she's either had to slide and dive and go after balls. She's done a heck of a job. She's been under duress the entire game for the Saints. There's a steal from Perkins, and St. Bernard's intercepts, and now they're going to try to work through the midfield, but instead, Furman puts it onto the foot of Meggs, and DeLucia plays it across the midfield for Montville. Now Crespo intercepts for the Saints, and Montville takes it right back. Meehan. And she loses the ball, and it will go back into the backfield where Banta will corral it for the Indians. Hard to believe Montville's only up one nothing in this game, and I, you know, I understand that you know Beverly's played a heck of a uh, ball game back there, but it's they've been a lot of pressure on that Saints goalie. Here goes a ball out wide. St. Bernard's looking for a run, but Delucia intercepts for Montville and uses her body to screen Montville, screen the player away, and takes the throw. This game feels like it should be two or three to nothing at the very least. Yeah, at, at the very least, I would agree. Here's a chip by Montville, but a whistle, and it will stay Indians' ball, so they'll have a throw. Montville looking to mount an attack, going left to right. Already on top, 1-0 here over St. Bernard's in the Battle of Montville. 1-0 Montville on an early goal from Cara Beaupre. Senior night here at Montville High School. Nice job by Smith for St. Bernard's. She steals. She's going to make a little run up the middle of the field, puts it out to her offensive player that was... Clement, but it's stolen and sent back the other way by Montville. And a good touch and no help that time for the Saints on the attack. <coughs> it feels Crespo, like, Crespo seems like she's doing an awful lot of work up there by herself. Yeah, I was going to say, it feels like when uh, Montville has the ball, there's four and five people involved, yeah. and when the, when the Saints have the ball, there's only two people involved. Yeah, and, and Crespo is working her way up the middle, and she's got you know, no help, no support, nobody's running with her. St. Bernard throw. It'll go right to left and we have a whistle and a sub coming into the ball game out of the game for St. Bernard's is Abraham and into the ball game is number 25 Brooke Paradise Brooke Paradise had a shot on goal in the first half looking to spark this Saints offense and they go out of bounds and so it will be Montville throw Velasquez will take the throw she goes down the sideline looking for Meehan shielded nicely by Paradise but Meehan controls Puts it in the middle of the field for Beaupre, and Londrigan comes in to clear it out. And on the foot of Crespo, but she loses the ball. And Montville puts it right back in with Meehan. Goes to the middle of the field to Stronick. Stronick to Beaupre. Beaupre loses the ball and a nifty move on the other side by Hannaford. And she just clears it with a booming kick to the far end. And Banta will control. Now Banta loses it to Clement, but regains. And St. Bernard's has an opportunity now. Ball up in front, but a nice job by Montville quickly recovering with Beaupre. Yeah, a little unorganized there by the Saints that time in that offensive push. The, uh, the, the, the patience not there on the offensive end. A little bit of one-on-one uh, -on -one play for the Saints. Battle at midfield between Meggs and Smith of the Saints. Meggs wins the battle and St. Bernard's is content just kicking the ball out of bounds. It does feel like St. Bernard's is much more content just playing kickball, and Montville is, is much crisper with its passing attack. Yeah, Montville's on the attack, too, where, you know, like you said, St. Bernard just wants to clear and possibly try and get a run, and, you know, and that's not the case with the Indians. They, they want to run plays. They want to get, you know, they want to put themselves in a position to score goals. Um, and, I'm, and I'm just wondering when does frustration set in for the St. Bernard's defense because the goalies had to stand on our head the entire game. Yeah, we're going to see if uh, St. Bernard starts to press. Maybe Montville get, gets a, an easy one as St. Bernard has to try to find a way to mount some offense. I mean, they just haven't had any up till now. Velasquez Play loses Play the ball to Hannaford, and there's a battle going on in the middle of the field right now. Won by Velasquez. Puts it down to on the right side to Meehan. Meehan goes back in the middle to Beaupre. No whistle. Play on as Beaupre was hammered in the middle of the field, and St. Bernard puts it back, and Perkins puts it into under the foot of Meehan down the right sideline. Meehan tries to make a move, but Paradise steps in front and knocks it out of bounds for the Saints. Yeah, nice touch by Perkins, Casey, at the center of the field that time to facilitate things for the Montville Indians. Olivia Massid down there working with Paradise. Uh, defensively, Montville is very aggressive. Excuse me, St. Bernard's is losing a little bit of opportunity here. Beaupre with an opportunity, left foot, tries to go back to the middle of the field, still has the ball. 
puts it in front, and Velasquez with a nifty little flick behind her. St. Bernard's no communication, no clear. Mian now from the right hash, turns in front, looking for an opportunity. One-timer, Beaupre, ball still loose. Wide left off of the foot of Cara Beaupre. Exciting action. Montville with a number of opportunities. Just couldn't get a shot off. Uh, half dozen girls up there from Montville looking to wind up, load up with a left foot or a right foot. Just not a clean look for the Indians that time. Goal kick. Londrigan will take it for the Saints. She puts it 40 yards down the right sideline where Montville immediately takes over. Beaupre on a run up ahead. Meehan looking. And Londrigan comes and cleans it up before... Beaupre can get to it. Oh, these kids can kick the ball 30, 40 yards in the air. We've seen it a lot in the high school football level, even here in the soccer level. And it's, you know, the goalkeepers are kicking the ball 50 yards. Stronick will throw the ball in for Montville. Loose in front. The Saints fighting to just clear. Montville trying to keep it in, and they do. Now Delucia tracks the ball down, and she'll try to play back to her midfielder, Beaupre. And the Saints are... Shut out again as Montville will just play it back in the defensive end very calmly. Hit the reset button. Let's uh, set the formation and let's work the ball through the middle of the field. And they do it very well. Perkins in there. She is one of the facilitators. Perkins with the ball in the midfield. Plays it back to Banta. Banta settles, surveys the field to Stronick. A little one-timer. Nice ball movement outside it goes and Meehan loses it. Uh, out of bounds, and St. Bernard's will have a throw. Yeah, one of the few unforced errors of the night for the Indians. That time, a, a good little possession, and Meehan could not control their right foot. Massed with the throw, but controlled instead by Montville. Banta puts it up, looking for Velasquez. Ball headed by Massed of the Saints. Nice run by Paradise, but she's intercepted by Beaupre. Beaupre puts the ball on, but Londrigan turns with the right foot and clears for St. Bernard's. Ball at the 30-yard line to Paradise of the Saints. Paradise turns, tries to keep it in bounds, but she is unsuccessful, and it will be a Montville throw. Yeah, in St. Bernard's case, he has certainly made the effort to kind of pack it in a little bit on the defensive end. They are trying to get their goalie, uh, Brianna Beverly, any kind of help they can possibly get because they know this attack from Montville right now is relentless. Everything going through the middle through Perkins. Banta puts it out to Stronick. Stronick from her right defensive position on a through ball, and Beverly will run up and corral it for the Saints and they'll settle things down and get her team to push out so she can launch a kick punt comes down at the 40 yard line onto Clement's body she turns and puts it off to Codner loses it, Paradise had an opportunity but now Montville looking to make a run down the right side with Meehan, Meehan running with Massett of the Saints, Meehan cuts inside Meehan puts a center in front and a one timer just right off of the foot of Velasquez Nice opportunity for Montville. Yeah, Velasquez had a point-blank look, and she's had more than one of those times. She pushed it wide right. <coughs> the relentless attack here from Montville will have to pay off sooner or later. Brianna Beverly's been under a lot of firepower there. Ball put right back in. Massed clears for St. Bernard's. Stronick with the head ball for Montville, and finally Paradise for the Saints. Looking to put it in her midfield, and a nice run that time but Stronick is outraced by Banta, and Banta from Montville will turn and put the ball back into the midfield where its sides are switched, and here comes Delucia racing for the ball, but Smith beats her to it, and for the Saints, finally a little bit of an opportunity as Forrester ran on, but Delucia steals the ball from her, spins on a dime, what a nice move by Alexis Delucia down the sideline for Montville, she's still tiptoeing, still has the ball, goes to the middle of the field, now here comes a through run. Velasquez with an opportunity down in the corner. Instead, Beaupre and St. Bernard's is going to be content just hitting that ball out of bounds. What an individual effort by Alexis Delucia restarting the Montville offense. Yeah, the left foot, the, uh, the tippy toe down the sidelines on the far side facilitating the offense. Montville quick to the attack. Long throw in goes into the middle of the field. St. Bernard's turns and fires and just they're just happy. See, St. Bernard's is not passing the ball. They're just firing it out of bounds to clear. They're so content clearing the ball, they're really not able to transition out into their own offense. They're just trying to catch their breath a little bit. Nice job by Beaupre, keeping it in bounds for Montville, puts it in front, and Londrigan comes and just bangs it out to midfield and clears it. But St. Bernard's right now just content clearing the ball, really not 
uh, interested in trying to transition out of their own defensive end because the Montville pressure has just been too strong. Middle of the field, Smith. Long ball going up ahead for Clement, and it's too strong for Clement. That was a, finally an opportunity. That was a good idea, right. but just a little bit too much. Right. Those are the breaks right there that St. Bernard's going to need to try to manufacture some offense. A possibility of a two-on-one on that play, and it all went for naught. They haven't had a lot of clean looks or a lot of clean breakaways at all. The defensive, the back line for, for Montville has been tremendous. Here's a long ball down in the corner. Paradise racing after it. Will she be able to get it before it goes out of bounds? She does not. She can't get there in time, and it'll be a Montville throw. Again, that's one of those things. Where she actually had a little help that time in the offensive end. If she could have controlled that ball, possibly sent that back into the middle. Uh, you, you know, Lauren Ross has been falling asleep back there in goal for the, uh, for the Montville Indians. Yeah, I don't I mean she could have a pillow and a blanket for some of the times that she's uh, had back there. Montville has just been steadily on the attack this entire game. Head ball. Psych, second half, Casey's a microcosm of the first half. Well, look at you, nice word. Now, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, microcosm. I like that. Here, Meehan down the right sideline for Montville. Tries to shove it past Massid, but Londrigan comes over and puts it back onto the foot of Meehan. So Montville again, clearing, has it. Yeah, clearing to nobody is the Saints. Here's a center. Head ball, and Londrigan again steps in and clears. Megs was looking for that opportunity for the Indians, but Londrigan stymied her for the Saints. Now Stronick up to the 10. Stronick with the right foot and pushed out of bounds by Hannaford. And that looks like that'll be a corner kick for Montville. So Beaupre will take the corner kick. Maddie Beaupre from the, co the short corner will have an opportunity here for Montville. Look backside post here. Beaupre strikes with the right foot. Low and high. A little flick. Ball in front and loose. And cleared out nicely by the Saints. Carolyn Codner put right back in by Montville. And then Londrigan just comes and puts a foot on it. And we're going to get a penalty against DeLucia. And that will turn it over. And St. Bernard's will have a kick. 23 minutes and a half remaining here in half number two. one nothing Montville on an early goal from Cara Beaupre off the assist from Alexis DeLucia. one nothing Montville here on senior night. But Montville has dominated the action. Uh, shots on goal, time of possession have been entirely Montville. Yeah, it's almost like the game plan here for the Saints is, you know, just pack it in defensively, and if we can catch a break on the offensive end, that's what we're going to do. You know, and, and Montville doesn't make any mistakes with the ball, Casey. It's going to make it very, very hard for the Saints to manufacture uh, any kind of a serious offensive attack. Velasquez with Meehan. Meehan fighting through, but Codner gets a foot on it and clears for St. Bernard's. Back onto the foot of Beaupre from Montville. I mean, St. Bernard's just one touch. Montville has been just very, very skilled. Now down into the corner, DeLucia making a run, and she's shielded, but she beats... The defender to the ball, but Bergeron was able to shield her, and it'll be a St. Bernard throw. St. Bernard's with the throw. Smith, nifty move, but fights through DeLucia, ball off of Montville, so St. Bernard's will advance a little farther up at the 15-yard line. Still well in their own defensive end, though. Shane Clark uh, over there for the St. Bernard Saints is uh, seen a little bit of the, uh, like I said, this, uh, just a carbon copy of halves. I'm sure he's happy that he's only down one nothing, but he's probably trying to figure out how do we get some offense out of these guys. Yeah, I mean, they got 22 minutes remaining in the game, and right now it's, uh, I mean, St. Bernard's hasn't played on their side of the field at all. It's been entirely in their own zone. Montville with another attack. Velasquez, we're going to get a whistle. That's going to be a direct kick, I believe, right there from Montville. Yep, St. Bernard's guilty of knocking Delucia down to the ground, so we're going to get a, a direct kick from Beaupre. Madison Beaupre with the ball at the 12-yard line to the left side of the goal, going left to right. Now Beaupre surveying, deciding what she wants to do with the ball, looking over at Matt Beaupre. She taps to DeLucia, middle of the field. DeLucia lets one rip high and off the crossbar. DeLucia let fly and had an opportunity. No goal and hit the top crossbar. Well, they got the look they wanted off the set play that time and just a little bit high that time for the Indians. What a good boot that time. Wow. They had the opportunity they were looking for, but that ball went off the crossbar. Beaupre and DeLucia with the 
little two-man game. A set play off of the uh, off of the free kick that time, set up by Matt Beaupre over on the far sideline. Now, e everything that ball did everything but find the back of the net. Megs puts it back in front. Beaupre to Stronick. Stronick with the right foot puts it back in the middle, intercepted by St. Bernard's, and a clear. And that ball is going to be rolling. Crespo running for it, but Banta is going to beat her to the ball, and Banta is going to play it back to Ross, and Ross is going to boot it, and here we go, resetting for Montville. A 40-yard kick that time by the uh, by the Montville goalie. Smith fights for the ball for St. Bernard's. Now St. Bernard's wants to try to play it back, but Perkins gets the head on the ball for Montville. Middle of the field, Smith for the Saints, but Montville resets. Banta puts a long ball ahead to Meehan. Meehan down the right side, chips it, and off of a Saint, Meehan will throw. Montville right back on the attack. Middle of the field looking for Velasquez, but Londrigan steps in for the Saints and clears. And again, the 50-50 balls that the Saints do win, when they win the ball, they, they kick to nobody. Uh, you know, they're not playing team ball out there. Londrigan battling with Velasquez. Velasquez gets in on it. Now the Saints, Londrigan goes down the middle looking for Crespo. Crespo whiffs on it, and it goes out of bounds. Montville throw. And those are some of the opportunities that, that you know, Montville has not made a mistake on. If that ball goes into the, uh, you know, the front of the zone, it, they seem to be on top of things. St. Bernard's may be a step slow right now because they've been exhausting so much energy on the defensive end. Yeah, absolutely. Paradise intercepts for the Saints, plays it back to Smith. Smith turns, and she'll play it back to Massad. But Montville intercepts, and Velasquez, dipsy footwork, plays it out wide right to Meehan. Meehan heads down the right sideline with the ball. Meehan looking for a cross. Instead, takes a shot, and Beverly is there for the save on a high arcing shot that sort of fell softly into her hands. But Beverly, an easy one for her on, on, on that possession. She's been down and dirty. She's got a few of them. That one fell right into the breadbasket. We're down under 20 minutes, 19 minutes remaining in the ball game. Montville on top, one to nothing over St. Bernard's as uh, St. Bernard's will have the ball at midfield on a throw. So the Saints have the ball in Montville uh, territory, if you will, for the first time. They have not spent much time on this side of the field. And even now, the throw, Perkins will control for Montville, puts it back off of a head and inner coming in in a nice run for the Saints. Crespo with an opportunity, but Montville there and nothing going. Now Clement with an opportunity for the Saints, but the Montville midfielders step back in. Now Smith with the ball looking for Crespo. There's a little through ball, but nothing there offsides as Crespo was a little too quick to the ball. Sophomore Victoria Hannaford, number 10, uh, number 18 out there as well for the Saints. Some fresh legs into the game for Shane Clark. The Saints will have, uh, excuse me, the Montville Indians will have a, a goal kick and they're going to play it back to their keeper after they, and then Ross kind of mishits the punt. It's not one yeah, of her yeah. better ones. A little scoop there. She got underneath it. Like when you have flop shots in golf. Yeah, not many of those lately. I mean, more, like a, more like Skull Island. <laughs> Flick down the right side for Meehan, but nice job by St. Bernard's of shielding it, and Massad will have the throw. Flick to try and get number 25, some touches out there. Just into the game for St. Bernard's, Mindy Jaworski. She loses the ball back, and Velasquez making a run for it, but Londrigan just clears. Mia Londrigan has spent most of her day just running and getting rid of balls from the middle of the field, just clearing. The old-time sweeper, stopper, she's just been trying to get rid of whatever's out in front. She's very familiar right now with Velasquez. Uh, she has been in her grill all night long. Montville with another opportunity. They go down the sideline for Meehan. Meehan in the right corner, tries to cross. Cross goes in front, ball bounces, and Beverly's there. Nobody in front for the one-timer or the touch. And instead, Beverly let it bounce and took it on the hop. Yeah, Lauren Velasquez was waiting for that ball, waiting for the rebound, too, from uh, Brooke Beverly. Nothing doing there. She's been a handful all night long, Casey. Uh, De Velasquez and, you know, DeLucia and Beaupre. Speaking of Beaupre, there's Cara Beaupre, the one goal scorer of the game. She loses the ball to Emily Smith of St. Bernard's, and Smith plays it ahead, but it's stolen by Madison Beaupre. And now Megs has the ball fighting. Nice job by Megs. Puts it over to Meehan. Meehan in the middle to Velasquez. Velasquez back to Meehan. Meehan over to Beaupre. Beaupre with a left shot deflected by the Saints. Ball still being fought for by Beaupre. But she loses it to Smith. 
And then Delucia steps in, knocks it off of Smith, and Montville will have the throw. And Delucia on that far left side, little 50-50 ball. Out hustling, out working the Saints. Delucia heads down the sideline, beats her defender, puts the ball in and just a little bit too far, and it'll be a goal kick for the Saints as Delucia couldn't get to her own touch. Yeah, Delucia's got a motor. She, uh, you know, she would take that ball up the side, drive it deep down by the uh, by the end line, and try and recenter it for a good look or a one timer. That time, just out of her reach. Delucia's a really good story in regards to why we t we talk about kids playing multiple sports in high school. She's a lacrosse soccer player, and she was looking for something. She'd always played basketball, but she didn't love it. And the uh, indoor track coach of Montville said, "Why don't you come and run track? It's, yeah. It'd be a really good." way for you to improve your running for the two sports that you run a lot in, lacrosse and soccer. She Shows. Goes, she goes out, she earns three, uh, she places in three events in the States as an indoor track runner, but the biggest result is you see here is that her running has, has elevated. And that used to be the case before specialization took over and before you play one sport all year round. She's benefited from what track and field was able to do for her. Yeah, I mean, it, it's 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 speed, it's conditioning, it's everything. So when you're playing sports like soccer or you know field hockey or lacrosse or you know even basketball, I mean, it's just uh, I like I you know me, I I want the full experience from these kids. Play as many sports as you possibly can for your four years of high school. Montville in control in their own end with a one nothing lead. 14 and a half minutes remaining. Ball loose on the sideline. Delucia with a steal from Montville. She plays it in front of Velasquez and Londrigan comes up and steals. I mean, I played soccer in high school, but the reality is I played soccer to keep me in shape for baseball. Yeah, you played baseball, yeah. I mean, I was a baseball player. I right. played soccer so that I could stay in shape for baseball. Here's a ball loose on the turf. Megs with it for Montville, puts it in front, and Beverly comes and slides. Nice job by the defense of St. Bernard's by Vidal. She shielded... Uh, the Montville offensive player and allowed Beverly to come up and make the save. Well, Beverly's been the all-star in this ballgame here for the Saints. She has been asked to do everything. And th that time you said she took matters into her own hands. She stepped up. She took away the angles and actually secured the ball. She's played a heck of a ball game. Here's a through ball down the right side for Meehan. Will she get there? No. Out of bounds it'll go, and it'll be a goal kick for St. Bernard's 13 and a half minutes remaining, one nothing Montville. You know, I'm one of those guys, Casey, too, that I like when kids play three sports. You know, I like the Spencer Hoaglands. You know, I like the kids that get out there and play them all. You know, the uh, yeah, just the, you know, the Major Roman. You know, you play the you'll be basketball and football, and you know, I I like that. You know, sometimes for some of these kids, all you're going to have is four years of athletics. So why not do them all? Absolutely, St. Bernard's down one nothing with a little bit of an opportunity in the midfield. Here's Paradise putting, putting the ball down the left sidelines, but it'll go out of bounds. Well, you know, when, when I, we were in school, there weren't the AAU programs. Right. You, you couldn't play all these things. If you're a soccer player, you play fall soccer. You can play indoor soccer and work out with soccer in the winter, play elite teams, travel teams. And then in the spring, there's spring soccer. And in the summer, there's summer soccer. And you can find yourself just playing soccer all year long. <laughs> that's a lot of soccer. And that's the case with all with all sports nowadays. Basketball, there's summer basketball leagues. There's basketball that you can play in I the, would get in the fall. I would get burnt out. If I was a kid, I'd get burnt out. So I, I love seeing the kids that play multiple sports in an effort to help their other sports. I mean, you played baseball. Could you play baseball all year long? Yes. No, they... Yes, but... Well, I mean, I don't want to... But I could, but I would. I, it wouldn't be good for me. It'd be, it was better for me to play soccer because what soccer brought to the table, and it was good for me to be to play a sport that I wasn't really good at. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, I was okay. I was basketball, but. baseball. That's what I played. Yeah. Down to 12 minutes remaining. Montville controlling. They're up one nothing. They have the ball at midfield. A throw in down the right side by Stronick to Velasquez. So you got to figure St. Bernard's is going to have to start pressing here. Now Londrigan's going to control for St. Bernard's at about the 15-yard line, and she's just going to bang it with her foot. I would have liked to have seen her control that ball earlier and make a more aggressive play on a ball her teammate could control instead of just banging that ball with her foot. To get a couple touches in and dribbling up the field and driving. Looks like the Saints are on the attack a little bit now, but look how Montville just sags back now to the 30-yard line of defense. Tough to get through that back line. Londrigan from her own 40. Low line drive. Megs gets it for Montville. The Saints wanted a handball, yeah. but they didn't get one. Ball loose. Opportunity here for Smith. Smith puts it ahead on the foot of Crespo, but she loses it. And the ball is cleared by Stronick. Can't get it. Paradise gets a shot off, and it'll go wide. First real opportunity for the Saints this half. And Crespo a little frustrated there. She knew she wanted that one. It just went off of her left foot, Casey. Crespo 
Boy, she had a golden opportunity there for the Saints. Yeah, the senior forward, their leading goal scorer. If she had uh, been a little bit more patient, that ball would have found itself right on her foot with an opportunity. But the Saints turning up the pressure a little bit in the midfield right now. And Perkins clears for Montville. And Meehan with a steal. And heading back is Abraham for uh, St. Bernard's, but they touch it out of bounds, and Montville will have a throw. Yeah, we'll see if Montville gets a clean look here on the offensive end, because St. Bernard's is actually pressing on the other side of the field. Throw in by Stronick. She goes in the middle of the field, flicked by Velasquez, back to Stronick. Stronick, high ball in the middle of the field at the 10. Londrigan heads it out for St. Bernard's, but right back in by Beaupre, and the head balls are going. We have three in a row. Now finally the ball touches down, and Montville with... Mian, Mian puts it in the middle to Velasquez. Velasquez back to Stronick. Stronick high ball. Nobody home and a nice easy save for Beverly on the high archer. Yeah, she sent that back corner post and she was looking for a little bounce there but not doing on Brianna Beverly's watch. A smart play by the goalie again for St. Bernard's. High punt from the right corner of the goalie box by Beverly and St. Bernard's will have the ball in their own end. Montville puts the pressure on. St. Bernard's turns with Hannaford. Hannaford tries to clear out of the defensive right side, but Montville has it in the midfield. Meggs puts it on the foot of Velasquez. Velasquez with a little move to herself, taps it over to Beaupre. Beaupre gets off a left shot, ball rolling, and a goal! Cara Beaupre with her second goal of the game, and the Montville Indians go on top two to nothing. Yeah, Beverly did everything she possibly could to stop that ball from going in. It's all stretched out. She's played on her head all game long but couldn't stop it. And again, the hard work, the chipping, the the persistence, you know, just the attack of Montville pays off. And it's hard to believe it's only the second goal of the game. 9.33 remaining in the ball game. Cara Beaupre with her second goal of the game. All effort that time. The Indians just finally capitalizing. They have been the aggressors all night long. Now St. Bernard's trying to put a little pressure of their own on, but out of bounds as Forrester was a little too aggressive, and it'll be a Montville throw. Boy, awfully hard to ask Brianna Beverly to make save after save after save. She's uh, certainly played a heck of a ball game. Head ball by the Saints to put it back in the offensive zone. Instead, it goes down the sideline. Delusha running on. Delusha heads it up ahead. Delusha, nice job by Londrigan to clear the ball out of bounds because she knew that Alexis Delusha had nothing but open space in front of her. Montville will have the throw deep in St. Bernard's territory again. Under nine minutes to go. A little flick in the middle. Londrigan clears out for St. Bernard's. And up ahead it goes to Keeping it inbounds for St. Bernard's is Clement, but out of bounds off of her foot, and Montville will have a throw. Delusha flicks it back to the middle for Montville. No one home, and now Londrigan drifts back. She backpedals into her own end. Puts it out, but it's stolen by Meehan. Meehan puts it onto the foot of Velasquez. Velasquez, little nifty move, but stolen by the Saints and cleared back into the defensive end of Montville. Now Stronick for the Indians. With time, with room from the 30. Puts it on the foot of Beaupre. Beaupre goes out wide to Meehan. Meehan with a cross. Ball in front, far post. No one home and a head ball. Nice job by Smith clearing for the Saints. And a whistle and over the back push on Montville. And the Saints will have a free kick as we're under eight minutes remaining here in the ball game. You know, and again, Montville not sitting on that 2-0 lead. They're looking for more, Casey. A very, very ferocious attack. Ball put back, and Hannaford puts it up for St. Bernard's, but a bounce on the middle of the field and a touch to Clement. Up ahead it goes. St. Bernard's with an opportunity, but Banta comes in and clears the ball out for Montville. Kept in by the Saints and across, but headed out by Banta, and Delusha taps it out of bounds, but a nice run by Carolyn Codner down the sideline for St. Bernard's. They had an opportunity, but Banta is such a... A, a wall, a stone wall back there for Montville. Well, they go get it. I mean, the defense slides back. They get in the position, and they go get it. Clement taps it out of bounds. It remains Saints ball. So Forrester will throw it in for the Saints. Way down on the far side, 15-yard line. She tries to put it onto Forrester. Back to Clement. Into the middle it goes and booted out before Codner has an opportunity. And Velasquez will turn and run for Montville. 
She crosses midfield. She's got the Lucia down, but she switches fields the other way, so she's got Mian. She goes to Mian. Mian touches into the middle to Megs. Megs back to Mian. Beautiful ball into the corner. Mian with a cross and a clear by Londrigan. Yeah, great job on the give and go that time by Montville. Loses it out of bounds, Abraham, so Montville will control. Throw in goes to Velasquez. She, Velasquez spins. Londrigan stones her. Megs takes it from Montville. And we're going to have an injured Saint. That's Mia Londrigan down on the ground. I think she got banged, and she is still on the turf. And again, the pressure up front from Montville. Casey just uh, relentless at this point. Six minutes left to go in the game, and their front court doing a lot of damage. So Londrigan down for the Saints. It's 2 nothing Montville with exactly six minutes remaining here. And while they tend to Londrigan, we can talk a little bit about some upcoming events that we've got going on for game day. Next week, on the 1st of November, the Sports Doctor will be in the play-by-play -play seat as we bring you the championship game of ECC uh, Girls Volleyball. With Bo Lucas. Bo be Lucas with the coach, yeah. Be with the coach. I will be celebrating my 14th wedding anniversary. Wow. Which which uh, if I want to have a 15th wedding anniversary, I need to be there. <laughs> yeah, it's tremendous. And not do it. Yeah, no, it's you, you know 14 you, years is tremendous. You, you know how you guarantee not getting a 15th wedding anniversary? Yeah, not showing up for your 14th. When you say, no, honey, yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I got to do ECC girls <laughs> volleyball. So I got you. So the, I, I don't have those that. troubles in my life, but, uh, I mean, no, those aren't troubles either. Those no, are, those, no, those no. Are but great you got, so you'll take All care right, of so it. All right, so you got money. Yeah, we, and then uh, the following night, we've got a doubleheader in soccer over at East Lime High School. Yep, the boys and girls championship game. And I'll tell you, these Indians right here, they think for sure they want to play in that game. And if you look at what they've done in the ECC, they beat uh, Killingly. They beat NFA. They yep. beat East Lime. They beat Ledger. They beat Waterford. They beat Stonington. They, they've tied Bacon. The only team they couldn't get over the hump on is Woodstock. Yeah. So I think Woodstock and Bacon are maybe the, the class of, of the uh, of, of what Montville's seen so far. So certainly the Indians thinking they have a chance to play deep into the tournament, and they'd love to get into that championship game, yeah. as would East Lime on the boys' side, another team that we saw earlier in the year. Yeah, and Stonington, I do believe, uh, won the boys' is so is soccer ECC. Regular season, the Stonington Bears, the boys. Peter Wappy would tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I, I do believe the Stonington Bears win the ECC for the boys. Uh, I, th I think they're the class of the conference yeah. for sure, uh, but definitely uh, the uh, East. We Lime. saw East Lime earlier. East, East Lime wants. They, 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 I think they want. I think they think they want at least you know give it a go. So on their home field, win yeah. that game on their home field, yeah. and then uh, and then two weeks after that, we've got a little football action. We've got the su I mean surprise, surprise. Uh, East Lime Vikings against the Fitch Falcons. Uh, not, I mean, listen, I, I, I think it's more of a surprise for East Lime than it is Fitch. I, I was one that called it back in August that Fitch had had a chance to have a successful year. I didn't think they'd be undefeated at this point, but that's uh, that proves to be a big ball game, big big ball game. I, uh, you know, I remember preseason. I said East Lime. I, I had East Lime as being a, a sleeper team in the conference. You had Fitch as a sleeper team yeah. in the conference. Yeah. Uh, we were both right in that regard. Um, I don't. I mean, East Lime's only loss to an excellent killingly team yeah. week one. Yeah, week one. That was and it. I bet you they'd love to play that game now. I, I think they would. They, I mean, they've sealed some. They've had some big wins, too, out of the league, which they've had to come from behind to win, which has given them confidence. You know, and what can you say about Fitch? They put 70 up against North Bradford. Yeah, that's, a, that's remarkable. And then they tightened up their defense this past week. Two good guys, too. Moffitt. Two good coaches, two, Mike Ellis yeah. and Rudy Bagos. Two excellent guys. Uh, fortunately, Mia Londrigan walks off the field on her under her own power with a little assistance from her coach, Shane Clark, and will be back underway with six minutes remaining. Montville with a throw-in. Uh, Stronick will throw it in from her own 30-yard line. I can see right out of our window my wife is down talking with the Chaponi family. That can't work out well for me, so we're gonna, we'll move on to some soccer. <laughs> Out of bounds it goes, and we'll have a goal kick for St. Bernard's with under six minutes, five and a half remaining here in the ballgame. 2 nothing Montville on goals from Cara Beaupre uh, and the Indians who have just absolutely outplayed St. Bernard's. So you've gone from the driver's seat to the hot seat. <laughs> as long as she was listening when I said that our 14th anniversary yeah. was the most important thing yeah, in my one. life. So we'll have a goal kick from... Beverly of the Saints, five minutes remaining here in the ball game, plus a couple minutes for probably a minute or two for injury time, unless they stop the clock, which I think they did. So no, I did. Six. Yep. Here's a shot wide off the foot of Beaupre. She let it fly, uh, and it went wide. Uh, check that. That was uh, Mian. Mian let it fly, but wide, and it'll be another goal kick for the Saints. 
junior Olivia Meehan, midfielder forward. Another one of those facilitators for the Montville offense. Yeah, the Indians have some talent coming back next year for sure. Uh, they have uh, the Velasquez is only a junior, yeah. And they got the goalkeeper coming back. They got me and Delucia and Velasquez, all three very capable up there. Both one of the Beauprés, uh, Cara, the, the, you know, Cara, who has uh, scored both goals tonight, uh, is back. I mean, they're definitely they're gonna miss Megs and they're gonna miss uh, you know uh, Banta, but uh, you know, and they're all they're gonna miss all six seniors. But they are definitely. Uh, you know, loaded for bear here for a couple more years. Delucia with some fancy footwork for the Indians puts the ball onto the foot of Megs and Beverly gets to the ball before Meehan can and will St. Bernard's will clear. Yeah, and I like the way that, you know, Alexis Delucia plays. She's got a motor over there. And like I said, she's, you know, done some track in the offseason, got herself in extremely good shape and, you know, she's she's a pest. She is a <laughs> she is a handful. Yeah, and I mean that in a good way. Yeah, no, a that's pest a in a good that's way. A good she is she's yeah. a pest. Yeah, she is, and she doesn't quit. She's a tough kid out there, and I think that's, you know, I'm very impressed with the physicality of Montville. The Montville team plays very physical soccer. Uh, they don't give up on any ball. Uh, uh, they battle. They uh, sh use their bodies very well. The shield, yeah. they go through the ball. Well uh, coached. Yeah, they are. He's done a nice job. Uh, the uh, the Beaupre family is uh, alive and well here with Montville soccer. In the middle of the field, Montville looking to put one more run on here and cleared by Smith. Smith with some room. She'll carry for the Saints. She crosses midfield but puts it into space and no one's home. Instead, Furman for Montville. Get a chance to get down there after the game and talk to a couple of the kids and, you know, find out if they actually think that uh, they're only shocked that they only scored two goals in this game. Put it back. Now, Banta. Uh, Banta with the ball. Banta in some space, pushing it up for Montville. Banta down the sideline and over the top of Delucia. A little too strong and it will go back to St. Bernard's. Now, only three or four real serious scoring threats by the Saints, and it seemed like, Casey, when they had the ball you know, in the front court or the front part of the field, there was a lot of one-on-one -on -one play. Um, timing off just a little bit, and credit the Montville defense to that, but there was a couple opportunities. We could see the frustration from the Saints where you know, girls were playing in one-on-one -on -one situations where they didn't have a lot of help. Yeah, and um, you know, Montville is, uh, has played... And you, you could sense it, uh, Shane Clark. He knows his team's a, a pesky team, but he knew the Montville team was very talented. And Montville has outplayed St. Bernard's today. But uh, I get the feeling that uh, not that that early goal from Montville really got St. Bernard's out of out of rhythm. yeah on their heels. Yeah, yeah. And then it took almost uh, an hour to score another goal. That's right. One nothing can turn into two nothing quickly, or <laughs> <laughs> as we it saw take tonight, all night. <laughs> take all night. And a lot of that goes back to the uh, the goalkeeper, though, Brianna Beverly. She's made some tremendous saves over there, and, it, and the ball hit the post. And, uh, you know, St. Bernard's has done well defensively, only allowed to giving up the two goals. Absolutely. Paradise with a run for the Saints, but Beaupre stones her, and the ball will go back to St. Bernard's. So Paradise turns, tries to get it to Abraham up the sideline, but there's Banta. Banta turns, and she just turns and rifles it out of bounds. So St. Bernard's will have a throw with a minute and a half remaining. Number 10, 10th anniversary sport. Very nice. In the middle it goes and cleared out by Montville. Paradise on the ball, but Meehan comes running over and takes it away, but knocks it out of bounds. And so with a minute and 10 seconds remaining, St. Bernard's seeing if they can put one more opportunity on. Massed with a throw, but it's headed by Delucia, not once, not twice, but off of St. Bernard's player, so it will be a Montville throw. You know, just going up and down the schedule, too, it's hard not to think that Montville won't be in at least in a position to get themselves into a final in the ECC. Like I said, they've beaten everybody in the league except for, you know, a hard time against Woodstock. Yeah, if they don't see Woodstock, I mean, Bacon, they, uh, Bacon, they, they yeah. lost 3 nothing to Bacon, and they tied Bacon in double overtime, but I think they would feel confident playing Bacon. Sure. Uh, Woodstock might be in their head a little bit, but I think they definitely feel that they should get close to a final. Here's me and on a run for St. Bernard, stops on a dime. Meehan fires a shot, but there's Beverly in the middle of the goal. Meehan turned and fired, but Beverly was there waiting for it. Olivia Meehan with the dribble penetration, the good touch, the spin, and the shot that time, just a little bit high. Right into the hands of Brianna Beverly, who's had uh, her hands full back there for the Saints. And we're down under 10 seconds remaining. 2-0 Montville. 
And ball goes back into the Montville zone, and it'll be cleared high into the air. Ball hits the turf as we tick off the final seconds of this ball game. And there's your buzzer, your final score here at Montville High School on senior night. Two Carabao Prey goals for the Montville Indians. They shut out the St. Bernard Saints 2 to nothing. We will, of course, have post-game interviews that will be available as the sports doctor will head down and talk to some of the victorious Montville Indians. Join us next Wednesday as the sports doctor and Bo Lucas will bring ECC Girls Volleyball Championship live from NFA. And, of course, the day after that on the 2nd, the ECC Girls and Boys Soccer doubleheader. But it was, uh, it was very nice bringing you the 10th sport tonight. Yeah, I mean, we're looking forward to it, too. It's a busy few weeks coming up on game day. You've got championship week coming up next week. You know, you've got some tremendous high school football uh, coming down the stretch with that Fitch East Lime game. Uh, boy, I'd love to see East Lime pick off NFA this week. That would make that game even more special. Uh, you know, and then obviously with the Thanksgiving Day game, too, it's, it's uh, you know, we were, I was talking to Peter, too, and about the vision of game day. It's, uh, it, it, it's crazy. I never thought I'd be in this position doing – 10 different sports, but, um, you know, I don't want to take away from the crew either. I mean, you know, with Peter and Carlos and Tim and, you know, and Connor and, and Eric and, you know, and, and Mike and yourself. I mean, just, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun and uh, looking forward to uh, the rest of the fall and into the winter sports. Well, we have something special going on, and thank you very much for being a part of it. Your final score tonight, Montville 2, St. Bernard's nothing. For all the crew and the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien, I'm Casey O'Neill. Good night, everybody.